Hey everyone, in this video we'll be implementing the dash borders, the border with some custom curved radius and in our .NET MAUI project so here you can see this type of UI designs we'll be integrating it in our .NET MAUI project. So if you are coming from Xamarin Forms background then it is uh, same as a pancake view so which encapsulate all the controls. Without wasting any time let's get started with .NET MAUI project. Here this is my fresh.net MAUI project you can see over here we have our main page.xaml so at first we are going to remove all the things from the UI so uh, why not to remove all the other thing by minimizing it i'll just remove it from here and the same goes in the dot cs2 so we have to go to the dot cs part of our main page because we really don't want this uh, part and we don't want this to so now our application is fresh which gets started from our app cell you can see over here uh, the application gets started from our app.xaml.cs so here the app cell is going to tell that our main page please start it from there so this cell encapsulate our main page and let the main page load it whenever our application starts so here you can see uh, this is uh, the area where uh, we are telling that uh, our main page to start it from so let's get uh, going with the main page and try to quickly create uh, this uh, ui that is our border control let's run the application so here i have just uh, ran the application which is a blank uh, .NET MAUI project at on my right that is uh, shown on the emulator so here uh, we are just going to uh, type the controls for our the ui so here you can see i'm encapsulating the label with the border so it will just uh, show it from there and now we'll be playing with the properties for the border so here uh, the vertical as well as horizontal option and center is going to place the level control uh, to the center of the screen so strong th stroke thickness is uh, 10 that means now the border will have a thickness of 10 background as red that is our border is filled with red background and the stroke shape is a round rectangle that means now the round rectangle is going to give a shape of rectangle and here you can see now the padding is from left 20 top uh, that is like uh, uh, from left top right and bottom you can see uh, we can give a padding from all around the screen so you can just play around with those values as you like so I just request you to play around with this uh, stroke shape too so here you can see I have given a stroke shape of a rounded rectangle and you can play around with the padding that is the internal padding from left top right and bottom that is what the uh, logic is and from the stroke shape also the same thing left top right and bottom and uh, that is it so that's uh, enough for the border property now let's try to give the stroke background with some gradients so uh, we can use this uh, gradient in any of the control as we like just uh, as of now i'm just giving the gradient stop color for this border to be anything as you like i'll just give a violet and give a offset of 0 0.1 so this is what we have and uh, now we'll just uh, use the violet and blue with the offset of 1.0 so that now the border is going to be shown a little bit good so i'll just give a height of 90 for the borders so here the label to be centered and the font size to be 20 so here the vertical text alignment center and the horizontal text alignment center is going to put that label to the center of the uh, border so here stroke tag uh, dress array is going to give a stroke of 2 by 2 that means now uh, the stroke dash array is going to be provided with some offset so that you can see the uh, dashed borders that is array 1101 that means it will be looking very small and uh, offset of 1 and uh, now if you can uh, uh, give the width of the border to 200 uh, or 280 then you can see uh, it looks really nice so you can just play around with those uh, stroke 
uh, as per your requirements that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials